Let's face it, life isn't easy. If you're stuck in a bad relationship, betrayed or afraid of tomorrow, financially insecure or desperate for a breakthrough, you've come to the right place. Dr. Carmen Hara is a renowned psychologist, intuitive, relationship expert, and best-selling author, and she's here to give you the miracle guidance you need. Her new call-in show, Miracle Guidance for Everyday Life, offers profound wisdom, practical advice, daily exercises, and empowering predictions, all for you. Dr. Hara's show aims to eliminate everyday problems, big and small, with topics like healing your relationships, reclaiming your power, achieving better health, dealing with loss, and so much more. Regain the joy, stability, and fulfillment you deserve to feel. Tune in to Miracle Guidance for Everyday Life with host Dr. Carmen Hara, live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern, and find the answers you've been looking for. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to my show, Miracle Guidance for Everyday Life. I'm Dr. Carmen Hara, and tonight, I'm so excited about the show tonight because we decided to do a show on meditation. Uh, As you know, we are slowly returning to normality, but many of us are struggling to recover from this pandemic, to return to work, to send our kids back to school. So during this chaotic time, you know, visualization, meditation, prayers are very significant to keep us balanced and grounded. Now, one of the very special practice is meditation. Meditation is the therapy of your soul, giving you the opportunity to disconnect from this physical world and access the divine within yourself. So when we meditate, we can access a higher realm of reality, a place where all opportunities are open and all possibilities exist. Now, there is this French philosopher, Michel de Montaigne, who said something extraordinary. The greatest thing in the world is to know how to belong to oneself. And you may be thinking, yes, I belong to myself, but what can I do with this? It seems like we belong more to our circumstances. We belong to our source of money. We belong to economy. We belong to our debts, to the people we we care, but we belong to our ambitions, our false beliefs, our desires. This man-made world has made us turn away from ourselves, from our true nature. So more than ever, we want to return to ourselves. And I think that this pandemic was all about help us rediscover our truth and our authentic selves. So that's why I said there is an amazing woman who is my special guest. She's the a highly successful woman who can teach us how to detach from what isn't working and progress towards our true purpose. Agapi Stasinopoulos is a a remarkable woman, an amazing best-selling author, speaker who inspires audience all over the globe. And in her previous book, Unbinding the Heart, a dose of Greek wisdom, generosity, and unconditional love. She shared the wisdom from her life's adventure and experiences. But in her new book, Wake Up to the Joy of You, 52 Meditation and Practices for a Calmer, Happier Life, Agapi takes you on a journey and inspires people to let go what doesn't work and instead create the lives they really want. Now, I want to tell you something about Agapi. I know you all know her and love her, but she's been trained in London at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts and moved to receive a master's degree in psychology from the University of Santa Monica. And her previous book, which I loved, I read it a million times, because it's all about (laughs) the Greek archetypes. The book is called Gods and Goddesses in Love, and conversation yes. with a goddess, and they were turned into a PBS special. How amazing is that? I, I love this. Agape is the thank one who you, does workshop you. for Tribe Global, a company is thank actually you. founded by Ariana Huffington. And I am honored, beyond honored, you know, to thank have you, tonight Carmen. with me this beautiful, beautiful angel on earth. Agape, thank, thank you. you so much for for this opportunity that you're giving to me. And I cannot tell you how much I adore you, appreciate you, respect you, and how much gratitude for you I have for you for doing this for us. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank (laughs) you so much. I love everything you said. 
about right. belonging to ourselves. I love it. It was so inspiring. And uh, thank you for uh, welcoming me with such love and heart. It fills my heart, Carmen. Thank you. And I love your <laughs> oh. name. I love your name. And yes, Agapi, I, I, you know, uh, means... Uh, I took my name, Hara Agapi, because it's... Uh, in Greek, it means haros. It, means it, joy. it refers to the soul. Joy. Yeah, and the joy of the soul. And I yes. think you are pure joy, and you are, you know, that's why I think of you like an angel who comes on earth oh. to, to help us. And this is who you are. And I yes. want to help. I want to ask you at the beginning. I don't know if you want to do that. I know people yes. try to understand how to meditate, and you yes. are the one who can perform for us that one minute of centering breathing that helps yes. people tap into exactly. meditation. So if, and then we're going to take all, we have a lot of people calling in who are of so course. grateful to be with you. Susie, Lelani, Pauline, all of you guys hold on the line. Beautiful. You'll be able to connect with Agapi, but Agapi, let's, let's begin with, um, with yes. this one minute centering so, breathing. Everybody right now, just relax and sit comfortably wherever you are sitting. And just make sure that you lean back in your chair or your couch or your bed, wherever you are, and relax your shoulders. Just really let your shoulders drop. And very gently, I like to take my, my hands, because the hands are magical. And I like to take my two palms, and rub them together. Is everybody rubbing them together? And you feel yes. the connection to your body. Right. It's the right side and the left side. And very gently, take your fingers and start massaging the temples all the way. Just connect with the side of your eyes, the temples. And very gently, start to create a line all the way down to your jaw so that your fingers are running down the jaw and open your jaw and exhale with a sound like ah. And now let the breath come in and one more time, take your fingers and just from the temples very, very gently Massage the side of your jaw on the left and the right and just touch your jaw and open your jaw and let's all make a sound like, ah. Oh. Now, you're already resetting the nervous system because you're connecting with your body and you're connecting with your jaw because my friends, when we are contracted, worried, anxious, what do we do? We shut off our breath and we shut off the jaw. We bite down. So the first thing we do when we meditate is we open up the jaw so that we tell the system, the organism, the body, the consciousness, relax, relax. Just relax. You don't have to bite down. Whatever is going on, whatever problems, whatever worries, right this moment, you are breathing. So allow your breath to come in and you receive the breath because in truth, you are not doing anything, but you are receiving the breath. You are not taking the breath but you're allowing the breath to come in, elongate the breath, make it slower, make it deeper, beautiful, beautiful, make it deeper, and let your rib cage expand. You can even take your palms and hold your rib cage and feel your rib cage is pushing the palms of your hands away to the left and the right. And now exhale, exhale slowly, deeply all the way, all the way. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Let the exhalation go out your feet. Hold it for one second. Hold it. And now let the breath come in. 
and lean back. You can open your arms all the way to the left and the right and feel yourself expanding. Feel your body expanding. Feel your breath, more space. There is more space in your body. So that's the beginning of the meditation because we are trying to set your mind to a different mindset, to a different heart set. So now take your right hand and place it in your heart and take your left hand and place it in your belly. And I'm going to count to four, four, and four. Four breaths, four long counts for your inhalation. One, two, three, four. And now hold it for four, three, two, one. And exhale. One, two, three. Four. All the way, exhale. And now one more time. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Feel the oxygen in your heart. Connect with your heartbeat. Hold the breath. Connect with your lungs. Connect with your brain. Connect with your eyes. Connect with your body. Hold it, hold it, and let go with an exhalation. Four, three two, one. And now start to feel a presence, the presence of your calmness. And start to observe the rising and the falling of your breath. The rising slowly, deeply, a long breath, and the breath falls. And pause, you're breathing, but you're pausing from the thoughts. Now, if the thoughts come in, you just observe them. You lean back and you see the thoughts like clouds over in the sky. You know how they're drifting by? Just observe them. Don't judge them. Don't be critical about them. Do not Try to stop your thoughts. Your thoughts are going to do what your thoughts are going to do. We are going beyond the thoughts. We're going beyond the emotions. We are going beyond the feelings. Keep connecting to your body. And then as you exhale, just tell yourself, I give myself permission to relax, to let go, and to receive the spirit, to receive the breath, to receive the loving, to receive wisdom, to receive direction, and stay very, very still inside, but with your breath very flowing. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Already there is a presence and a stillness you're probably experiencing. So practice that. And more later, we will play more of my meditations oh my later. God, this is amazing. I just um, felt like uh, my, my spirit was uplifted, you know, by doing this. I felt like release of all the tension. And, yes, and, because, you know, yes. Carmen, all of us throughout the day, we are going, we're doing, we're doing, we're going from one thing mm -hmm. to the next. And as we are doing, already just thinking myself doing, I get, I get hyper, you know? Right. And, and nobody stays calm when they're doing. And, you, and especially, you know, you have kids, you have work, you have uh, errands to do, exactly. you have the house, you have, and we move from mm -hmm. one thing to the other. And we're always anxious about I don't have enough time. Would I get everything done? And then, uh, oh my God, I haven't eaten. I haven't. I haven't drunk enough water. I should exercise. I should. I should respond to my emails. I should do this. And then suddenly we go to bed at night, 
and we are exhausted because we've never gave ourselves enough space and time to go beyond the space and the time and to go into the presence of our spirit. And that, Carmen, is practice. Nobody right. achieves it. You have to become conscious. You have to stop sure. to take reset, to take little breaks throughout the day. So you teach yourself like everything else. Nobody was born knowing how to do that. Exactly. Nobody teaches us at school or anywhere. And, right. and there are hundreds of apps teaching us how to breathe and, and how to actually come into the presence of calmness. So whatever works for you. But for me, what now works is to take myself out of my environment, whether it is I go for a walk or whether mm-hmm. it is I walk around my garden because we have a garden here, or just just literally get out of my phones, my devices, my computer, and take a moment, 60 seconds to reset, to reset right. with your breath. Your breath is your portal to your calmness, to your happiness. And if you get to manage and master the breath, believe me, you're going to sleep better. You are going to master the monkey mind who is always judging, right. criticizing, pressuring. Exactly. Now, a lot of people, Agapi, think it's probably difficult to, to keep your mind still and it's difficult to enter a meditative state. For the simple mm-hmm. reason, like you said before, people are so overwhelmed with so many things that they try to do during the day. So do you have like any tips for people how to finally succeed a, 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 a good meditation? Is there a specific way of doing it? Yes. Well, you just uh, just said something which I think people um, misunderstand, which is you have to, you said that people try to keep their mind still. It's keeping your mind still, your mind still, is like trying to stop the tsunami, okay? Imagine right. the tsunami is coming, <laughs> and you right. say, oh, my God, I have to push away the tsunami and stay calm. The mind is like a hurricane. It is right. like constantly producing thoughts and a lot. You know, I have in my book um, a chapter uh, about health, and uh, it's, the, it's actually the chapter one. And uh, uh, no, chapter one is the art of meditation, but make your health a priority. And it says um, the average brain has about 50,000 thoughts per day and 70% are believed to be negative. Okay? Yeah. So, um, so 95% of your decision make takes place in your subconscious mind. So True. your brain has to be uh, taught to... to uh, reprogram yourself so you you actually are practicing the breath practicing a minute two minutes five minutes ten minutes of slowing down the breath observing the inhalation and the exhalation i mm-hmm. but i love uh chanting loud and i'll, I'll teach you what i chant oh that's beautiful and i have to tell you carmen Whenever I am, uh, I go offline and I'm too anxious, I'm too upset, I, I get overwhelmed myself about anything, oh, or I, I judge this, myself. I this is so empowering. Yes, and let's do it together. It's right. the word hue. Hue means God in Sanskrit. It's a higher vibration. Hue, yeah. So what we're trying to do, if you go up the top in the mountains, you'll hear like the humming of the universe. If you go right. in a, somewhere where it's far up beyond the sounds of the freeways and and all the sounds of the material world, the the sound of the universe is like a hum, like mm-hmm. and now we're gonna take a deep breath and we are going to do And another deep breath. You. Oh, beautiful. And another you deep breath. You like going in a longer. resonance, don't you think so? You're like yes. Every fiber, Tuning every in your instrument. Yeah. A, you have to think of your body right. as your instrument. You know, your, your violin. Exactly. Your, and so I love the hue because it's, 
And you focus on your third eye, which is right between the two eyes. Right. In between is your third eye. And you focus there and you allow your spirit to lift you up into a higher vibration uh, from your thoughts. And that's right. Then you see, uh, in that case, your thoughts are going to go, but you're overriding them with a higher vibration. Exactly. Exactly. So, you know, I'm so inspired by your book, Wake Up to the Joy of You. And I want to tell yes. you what motivated you actually to write the book. So give us just that, you know, what, what made you do this? Well, you know, I wrote Unbinding the Heart, which is my life right. story. And I highly I love that recommend book. that book because I talk about my, my life story from Athens, Greece, uh, I love going to London. I love stories. They are so magical. And they are so magical. And I talk about my mother, how yes. my mother taught us not to be afraid and to trust the universe and Wonderful. to trust something larger than life. And I talk about all the wisdoms and how I found my light, how I found my soul, really, mm -hmm. and how then I found my spiritual teacher and how I started to open up my spiritual path. And right. how I found my spark and, and my fearlessness. So I, right. I have very, very specific examples and stories. And then uh, I went around the, the country and I went and spoke to many, many women's groups, men's groups, conferences. And mm -hmm. everybody was asking me the same thing. They were asking me, you know, how do I balance my emotions? How do I... Um, balance my energy? How do I awaken my joy? How do I love myself? How do right. I find God? Uh, how do I find my confidence? How do I trust my creativity? How do I find my purpose? So all these questions, it's like I was sharing and I felt people were longing to answer for answers. Right. So I, I sat down and I wrote, I don't know, titles and titles of books mm -hmm. like what do you do when you're jealous what do you do when um you go through a divorce what do you do when um you know your best friend betrays you you know where real things that we all go through what do you do when you feel uh, you don't know how to go about finding your vocation finding your voice when you want to fix everybody when you're an empath and you take everybody's right. problems so I, I wrote 52 chapters in Wake Up to the Joy of You. And they're small and sweet. And they have meditations. And I, I love this book so much. And I highly recommend it. And oh, take it, keep it by your bedside. And trust me, anywhere you open, you're going to find pearls of wisdom. You know, exactly, things like exactly. how to how to find grace in disappointment, four magic words, can you help me? Why don't we ask for help? I ask for help all the time, emotionally, um, in, in, my, in my everyday life, anything from, you know, uh, what is the best product to use for your cosmetics to mm -hmm. um, how can I, um, you know, people come to me and say, how can I write a book? What can you... Can you suggest mm -hmm. for me how do I begin to express myself? Things like how to manifest what it is you want, how to be grateful. So everything is so applicable and so right. specific. And, and I feel like the spirit helped me, my spirit, my higher guidance, helped me to make it so practical, Carmen. But that's and this people, is all about being practical. This of is course, brilliant. because, it's yeah, brilliant. I mean, it's like I have a whole chapter calling enough of feeling you're not enough, okay? Right. You know, I mean, we all feel, oh, I'm not enough. Nobody's enough. doesn't matter what you have, what you've True. achieved. We're yeah. all in the same boat, and that is what the pandemic really taught us. No matter what you had, you didn't have, we were all vulnerable to this unknown of virus that attacked right. the whole globe. So you realize that we need each other and we need to support each other and we need to access uh, wisdom from each other and information True. from each other. So 
reach out and and don't be so afraid that you'll be rejected you know um now i have in my um in this book i have 33 meditations that i did for every cha- not every chapter and these meditations are on audio and mm-hmm. i give out eight of them uh as a gift so your listeners right now can send me an email agapi a g a p i at unbindingtheheart.com and i will send you those um eight meditation as my gift to you oh, uh, that's and then so you can kind and generous of you so everybody listening so take advantage take advantage if you want what i feel in my heart if you ever want to buy a book this is the book wake up to the joy of you this is your book so please please keep your book by your bedside like agapi said because you're going to find all the wisdom of the world in that book you know everything is there in simple terms nothing should be complicated but this i i love the, the fact that what this does to people give them that joy that happiness that calm our life because you know we're so stressed and so overwhelmed in the world today we need to to be calm in order to get better to to get happy so you so exactly. right about everything you say exactly and you know the mind is very powerful because right now you know whatever people are going through whatever you know if you start asking for help if you start visualizing it's how you want to feel and and you, you tell yourself i'm not stuck i am a powerful being and i have the life force breathing me and existing because of something so miraculous mm-hmm. in me i mean nobody knows how 37.2 trillion cells are making this body i mean this right. body is a complete and utter miracle so it's not that carmen or agapi or so and so and so and so is um blessed with uh, wisdom and information and access to the divine every single human being everything exactly But everybody you got to do the work you got to do the work you got to ask for help reach out and find your guide find the people in your life who can support you who can lead you as well to your opening to your well, what, to your healing what i think what your book does and i need to say this is that your book helps people shift their negative beliefs uh, yeah the, those dark thoughts you know and makes them acknowledge that they can replace that with positive thoughts and exactly. and meditation is their tool you know to access the divine within them, themselves and exactly. it's all what you think and what you think you become and your beliefs you know are uh, 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 shifting your your life around because even medically speaking you know what when you implement a certain belief you release certain chemicals in your bloodstream that make things and, possible so and if, you if know you, Car- yes yeah. yes carmen you know here's the thing that we all have to find the way around it to master it's called fear i mean right. most of uh, you know most of us are grabbed and paralyzed by fear and the fear is that basically what do you really think the fear is that is that we are alone right. that we will never amount to something if you're sick you're afraid uh, a that you're never going to get better or you're afraid you're going to die if you don't right. have if you have debts and you're financially feeling you know you're broke or you are having a hard time financially or if you have something you want to say but you don't know how there is a fear and trust me i have had to overcome so much fear in me i mean it right. was almost like grabbing me and right. feeling god i have so many gifts but i don't you know as an actress I wasn't mm-hmm. getting the parts which is what right. I talk about. So I had to find it in myself and and one day I said, you know, I have all these monologues I love. I'm going to put it together and do a one woman show. And I went to a little gallery and I said I want to do my show here and I and I 
<laughs> my mother was alive then. My mother mm. made all the hors d'oeuvres and the appetizers. A friend of mine decorated the gallery. I told everybody to invite their friends. And I made, I gave Agapi permission to find <laughs> her way I and to it. express. I love it. I love and, it. And, and nobody said no to me. Not because, uh, because I was saying yes to me. Okay? So I found my way to my heart and my expression and started to trust that. I had an amazing spiritual teacher. His name is John Roger. And you can go into msia.org. That's my spiritual group that I work with, Movement of Spiritual Inner Awareness. I was very blessed because I found my teacher. I'm not saying this is somebody for everybody, but the wisdom that came from this man, this teacher, was so extraordinary, so loving, so compassionate, and so supportive for me to become more of myself. Yes. So he opened up a path, a doors. I did seminars. I did retreats. I did the University of Santa Monica in, in Santa Monica. With but you know, you know what I want? I want Agapi. I want the Agapi show on television. That's mm -hmm. what I want. I want to see Agapi, you know, on every, every, every other day. You know what I mean? With yes. us, helping us. That's what I want to see. Because I see all, all right, kinds sweetie. of shows on television, and let's let's make it happen today. Let's make all it right, happen. sweetie. We can do that. Definitely, we can do we that. Can Absolutely. Do... <laughs> Absolutely, oh. you're in, you're inspiring me. Oh, so, you should be. You are inspiring me. I am so moved, and and I feel so phenomenal listening to you. You know, you're such inspiration to millions of people all over the globe. And with, with your permission, I would love to take some calls because there's so many ladies of course, excited let's do to it. say hello to you. And let's I'm going to go. We have Susan, Lelani, Pauline. Uh, we have another Susan. There's so many of you. I'm going to go to Lelani because she's such a spiritual girl. <laughs> Hi, Lelani, my love. How are you, dear? Hi, Carmen. Hello. How are you? So you are with, with, with my amazing guest tonight. So... Uh, with Agapi, so I want to find out if you have any questions for her. Hi, Agape, I love your name. Thank you, Lalani. I love your name as well. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Listen, I'm just now stepping into my, I guess, to stepping into being an empowered woman, being me authentically in the world. I just moved to Santa Monica, Los Angeles. Oh my God, and, amazing. Yeah, I just manifested a car in seven days and Wow. Wow. I, yes. I have a I have a healing arts practice. I do some amazing long distance healing, spiritual, intuitive counseling. I also have three books in me. And here's the thing, I'm I'm I don't want fame. I don't want my name like, oh look at me, I'm a New York best. I don't care about that. I yes, just want to be yes. a. I just didn't want to be a love light worker in this realm. And I tell you what, I'm meeting people here, and they say, "Where are you from? You have amazing yes. energy. You're nice. Yes. You're kind." Yes. So I wanted to get your thoughts. I need, I need to have about ten more clients at least a month, maybe twenty. And I'm not on social media because it really. I feel it in my body when I get on there. I really hurt in my body. So I know yes, God. Yes. I know God can bring me clients in the miracle way. And I wanted to get yes. your thoughts. What What kind of clients? What would you teach? What are you teaching? I have long distance healing. I do a Reiki healing session with spiritual counseling. I do past life regression, and yes. I also do oracle card readings and. I'm very intuitive, but I'm learning more. Okay, so basically you want uh, people that can come to you for so you can start uh, practicing. Have you studied Reiki? Have you studied Reiki? Yeah, I'm a Reiki you... master. I studied 12 years ago. I've been doing that okay. for 12 years. And you do it remotely as well as um, 
uh, as in person, right? Well, actually, my clients now, everything, it's switched to long distance. They stay in their home, and they really like to be in their home, and I'm in my home. So it's a beautiful long-distance healing session. And they, okay, I think two things that that come to mind. Um, one is that um, I would change your vocabulary to "I need ten clients or 20 because in in truth we don't need anything. We need our breath, so and we true. have that. Yes. So the mm. needing the need immediately gets you into neediness, and you don't want to okay. be needy. You want to be offering. So, so true. I would change the vocabulary and I would start it. I would like to um, attract the people who need my, I, write this down. I want okay. to attract the people who need my services to uplift and, and help them in, in and assist them in their well-being and upliftment. So you want to attract the people who need, who, who want what you have. So they can be more uplifted, okay? So you okay. put that out there as an intention. So you come from a place of service, and you say, I have something, a gift in me, and I would like to um, compensate it, of course, and be paid, but I would like to send it out to the universe with the offering that there are people out there that that need what I have, and I would like to open up the doors and the windows and the field of possibility. So these people are now coming to me. Okay, so you become a magnet of that, okay? So, the Elani, thing- you got the best advice ever. You got the best advice. Beautiful. So, I, I, so, so listen to this woman of wisdom who tells you how to shift your mind into the yeah. right way of thinking. And please get her book, Wake Up get to the my Joy book. of You. And read Get the book because 48. you learn so much. You need this in your practice. So order the book What's from the Amazon. book name again? It is Wake, Wake up, up to the Joy, to the you. joy of You. 52 okay. Meditation and Practices for a Calmer, Happier Life. So, Lalani, okay, I, I want you to open it up to Chapter 48, okay? okay. It's called Be a Master Manifesto. And so okay. you are going to practice that, and then um, also you can get the meditations, just the meditations. And then Perfect. Um, uh, you will see um, uh, this, this particular chapter has suggestions of the week and, and a guided meditation where you envision those people coming to you you open up the field of generosity, not luck, not scarcity, not need. Dear Lord, you pray and you say, strengthen me so that I am become a vessel of your love. So you take it away from Lalani's doing this to the highest power and the spirit in you doing this. So be very watchful so that you let yourself back, lean back. And let the spirit work through you, Lalani, okay? Okay, send okay. Me, send, me, send me any, meditate on that. At night, ask, have a journal, ask for spiritual guidance and say, allow me to evolve, to come to a higher vibration so that I can bring this healing. You know, I would watch the oracle cards because I don't like oracle cards, I, I, if I may be completely honest with you, because to me that is too psychic. Too, too too much of a psychic. They're, they're not. They're not tarot cards. They're 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 archangel oracle cards. They just have the four okay. elements. Yeah, they're okay, not okay. tarot. It's not about the okay, future. Okay, great. They're great. They're really great. good, actually. They're they're yeah. They're arch they're archangel cards with unicorns and and yes. they're beautiful. They're and so, uh, then the clients like me. those because. Yes, yes, I get it. And also, if you send me an email, I'll send you my meditation. Agape at unbindingtheheart.com. And okay. I'm going to also send you um, the, the name and the address of my spiritual center. It's open, and you can go in, and they have a labyrinth. You know, you can this walk the cool. labyrinth. And, uh, and in the Ooh. labyrinth, ask for guidance. It's on Adams and Crenshaw because you're in Santa Monica. 
And yeah, I'm house also, sitting in Santa Monica. Perfect. I will also send you a link that uh, one of the people in my spiritual center, the, every Monday, they do a meditation 12 to 1 online wow. that you can join for free, okay? So Perfect. I'm going to send you... I'm going to send you this that. is your lucky day. Lani, yes. and, and, this day is changing you just, your life. And yes. then you just go you just go to Prana. It's called Prana, the labyrinth yes. of and, and you walk the labyrinth and trust me you can go as many times you book an appointment and okay. uh, they're Amazing. open because of the pandemic. And you walk the labyrinth and in the slowness of walking you set an intention to be a vessel of the spirit. And what can you do? And the spirit will guide you to the next evolution of yourself. Okay. Amazing, Wonderful. Lani. Lani. You have you. a lot of homework. You have a lot of homework. <laughs> a lot of homework. Send me an email. I will send you the I meditation. can do it. You okay. can do it. Okay, my lovely and, and, Lani. And I love be, you. Be, be happy. Be, 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 be giving. <laughs> be generous. And stay contained. Say, stay contained so the spirit can use you. And, okay. and stay quiet so the spirit can move you and give you guidance in the quietness. Okay. Okay. You got okay. it. Thank, thank you, thank you Melani. And okay. Agapi, I have you. someone else for you. I have Pauline from New York, Agapi. There's so many ladies who wants to say uh, how much they love you. So I'm going to go to Pauline in New York. Hi, Pauline. Hi, Carmen. Hi. Um, I forgot your name. I'm sorry. Agapi. I Agapi. Yeah, that's a very unusual name. I shouldn't forget that. <laughs> um, I actually, it's funny you mentioned the labyrinth. That is part of my uh, mission in the future. Um, I used to help create them on the, you know, on the earth ones and painted ones. And so I yes. feel that, that that is a really, it's a fun way to meditate. I like it that way. I really don't like sitting down and meditating. And walking the yes. labyrinth is a really powerful. There's so many things you can do in the labyrinth. Um, yes. I just excited about something that I'm really going to do. But, um, but it's very yes. interesting. I want, you to, I want you to get Agapi's book. So wake up to the joy of you because you will learn so much in this book. It has 52 meditation and practices. So you're going to learn all the wisdom of the world in that book. And I, because I'm, I know I'm sorry to say you. that I'm already connected to me. And I'm actually trusting that now that I really have mastery in me. So, and I actually proved it to myself yesterday during the Saturn and Square, whatever. I was told that it was a day to, that it would be good to like, go, to experience my fear, and I just had my heart brought back from eight pieces, and I didn't know what that meant, but it came back a while back. And then um, I actually have been. I know uh, Carmen knows about my. Supposedly that I believe I have my twin flame, and I knew that the heart pieces had something to do with him. Um, and the we had eight past lives together. So I said, okay, fear, whatever. I didn't know what was going to have anything to do with my heart. I just said, I'm ready to face the fear, whatever it is, because it was supposedly the perfect timing for it. So I got the courage up, and then, I mean, instantly it happened. But all well, of a sudden, I, I started sobbing on Lois. You know, Lois. Oh, no, you don't know Lois. Okay, on somebody, I was listening to a medium show, and all of a sudden, I hear, I hear the other people talking about how, you know, emotional they were been the, this last yesterday. And all of a sudden, all the stuff started pouring out of me, and I was sobbing, 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 sobbing. And I knew it had to do with the past lives with this man. And um, a well, common says that it was a karmic relationship, and I knew that I had to release a lot of the karma I already yes, forgave yes. him with my mind, but um, the, well, with the actual well, body part. I want I you to, um, to send an email to uh, Agapi so she can send you that free meditation because this is your lucky day to call the show, and you okay. got that this free meditation. I can always so, learn more. I know that. I just said that I feel like I'm on my way. If, if I can always learn more. Learn I'm not saying that she Agapi. has nothing to teach me. From yes. Agapi, you, you think love. she's good? I, I've already, you know, went to Darren Weissman. That helped me tremendously. So I know I can trust Carmen to give good advice um, and well, refer me to the right people. This is the book I want you to go. And also write to Agape, Write her, yes. and you're going to get the meditation. Thank you, Susan. Perfect. Thank you, Pauline. I'm going to go to Susan. Hi, Susan, my dear. How are you? You are with Agape tonight. 
you have a, an amazing chance to speak with Agape. Hi, Susan, how are you? Hello? Hi, my Susan. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. So you are with Agapi, and we're talking about her amazing book, Wake Up to the Joy of You. Um, and I want you to get this book because this is going to change your life. Yeah, it sounds wonderful. And it sounds like every day we have a choice in how we choose to make our day the best day we yes. have. That's beautiful, Susan. Yes. Um, yes. I just had a question. Um, I've been thinking about selling my house and moving closer to where my family is. Um, and, you know, kind where of is your family? Of, uh, closer where, to where Oregon. Is in Oregon. Oregon. Okay. In, uh huh. Yeah, I'm in Washington. And so um, I'm really at a crossroads um, about making the decision to actually put the house on the market because I know it'll sell really fast. Okay, where Anything are you now? Anything you can recommend, Agapi, the way to meditate on the sale of the house? Yes, you, I mean, that is a totally uh, back to the power of manifestation. And right. I would um, take um, uh, the, the most powerful um, programming, the universal mind, it's called, and you write down uh, the idea of sin. I now see my house selling for the highest good always with such and such a price and going to uh, the best sellers, um, buyers uh, that I can find. And it's selling magnificently, effortlessly, grace filled within the next month, let's say. And you read it over a hundred times, a hundred over and over again. You read it, you affirm it, you release any doubts, and then you say, I allow myself to now move back to my family and see myself joyful and connected and happy as I move back with my family, making sure that that is something in your heart that you want to manifest. Okay. Are you, is that okay? So is that clear? Yeah, because, um, you know, I did this before about seven, 18 years ago, and it kind of, I don't want to be repeating history. I want it to go well. What did you do? To, what did you do seven years ago? 17 years ago, 18 years ago, I did the same thing. I moved from Washington back to Oregon. But then I met my second husband, and he died, and it just really devastated me. So I don't want okay. to keep it. So. Oh, so as you can well, see, there's a lot of emotion attached here. So she needs help to release those feelings of whatever happened in the past so that she can break through this uh, uh, cloud, his, this, this wall somewhere, invisible wall in, in her subconscious mind in order to be yes. able to move forward. And she can certainly yes. do it by learning the wisdom from your book. Yes, exactly. I, exactly. Read the book, and, 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 um, and there is a lot about releasing the past. Overcoming, overcoming your, your, your past is a big um, part of the healing, you know. So the, there is a great chapter. Susan, are you with us? Uh -huh. uh, uh, it's chapter 19, and it's called The Art of Letting Go. And there is a guided meditation, which uh, you are going to love. And you can order, the, actually, the meditations right now from uh, Audible. Um, and you can get the book from Amazon. And you'll see that you need to go into the place in your consciousness where you're holding uh, very tight what happened with the move and, and your husband dying and maybe there are tears and maybe there is some pain and maybe there is forgiveness but as you exhale it and you let it go the then you'll be able to move forward to your future with ease and grace and with spirit on your side okay 
Thank you. All right, my lovely. Thank you so much for calling. And if you write to Agapi, mm -hmm. you'll be able to get that free meditation. And I will take okay. one more call if possible. I'll go to Susie in Florida. Hi, Susie. Hi, ladies. How are you? Thanks for taking my call. Absolutely. We love you. So thank mm -hmm. you for that wonderful exercise. Um, I was really stressed out earlier. Um, my um, pleasure. That was amazing. Thank Agape, you. Yeah, my that was mother so amazing. Yes. Um, I don't know. I, I have this anxiety about my mother-in-law. She she wants to move close to us, and it's, like I was really really upset about that. But really, that really helped me. And um, thank you. I downloaded both of your books. Um, it's funny that you mentioned that naughty ball. And, because I have two little girls and it's just so hard for me to like sit down and read, but you know, I can listen to that while I drive. So um, I'm really excited. Yes. Is it a, do you have a question, Susie dear? Uh, yeah. So um, every time my husband talks to his mom, I get this anxiety and like, I don't know what it is, um, but I feel my body burning. And what do you suggest? What kind of tips can you give me for when that happens or well, when well, he talks well, about her? What, what do you mean he talks about her? What is is his when mother alive? Like, yeah, his mother is alive, and they have a very toxic relationship. A very um, toxic? Did you say toxic? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so, yeah, what does so. he talk to her negatively? Does he? No, um, no. Yeah, they they talk bad about people. You know, most of the conversations are negative and stressful, and they talk throughout the day and they text all day. Um, the, oh, and she, you know. She, so he so talks this negative to his mother. influence that comes from this mother-in-law, which is very typical, you know, it happens, mm -hmm. all these outside forces that interfere in, in a marriage that can be very, very dark and very negative. So I do think you have children to get? Do you have children, yes, Susie? We have two yes. little girls, yeah. Susie, listen to me very yes. carefully. Tell your husband to go do some inner work and cut it out. <laughs> I, love I mean, that. you'll be an absolute like a tiger. Say, listen, I'm raising two girls. I need my energy. And whatever is going on in your mother, I don't want it in the house. Oh, I, I mean, you've got to put... No, what do you mean you wish? I've tried. We've done counseling. We've done it all. And it's just, it's just so attached to him. And Yeah, well, just say, to him, if, well just, just say to him, if you, what, whatever you... Whenever you want to talk to your mother, you've got to go out of the house. Mm -hmm. I yeah, mean, I usually go, go out, I you, step out. Yeah. No, she yeah, has to go out of the house. You know, yeah. you, say, yes, you have to put your foot down and say, I, I won't take it. That's it. You know, go do inner work. Go get a, go get a counselor for him. You don't need mm -hmm. a counselor. The relationship is toxic. This woman has to cut the cords that her husband, that her son is now married and happily right. married, I hope. And uh, um, she has to find a life. And you're not mm -hmm. going to carry her in your back and in your life. You are raising, you are responsible for two lives that need your energy and your positivity. Okay? Yes. So yeah, when you that, bring that, that, that... Yeah. You know, you go to you go to summon up your strength, and just say, "I won't put up with it." You know, I don't know how to say it, but you are much stronger than you pretend to be. Yeah, and don't right. let this affect you, Susan. Don't don't let this hurt you. That's why I think the Agape's advice is just pure wisdom. And you know, you, you have how to, to how I to mean, release release this emotion, detach from it. And start to start to see what matters. What matters are those kids, and you need to to continue to live a good life with your husband and ignore yes. the interference of this woman. Yeah, that's that's why I have this anxiety because she's, uh, we just moved to Florida seven months ago, and now she's talking about moving closer to us. It was a relief to leave, you know, leave and have her far away, but now she's talking about moving closer. So, yeah, yeah. yeah well, just well, say you know. You 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 have to put your your foot down. I don't know how to say it, but mm -hmm. you just pray every night. Mm -hmm. You go and ask ask the good spirit in you to give you the strength to rise right. into this situation and to become masterful and say to your husband, "Sweetie, the buck ends here. 
I need my energy and my positive energy. Mm -hmm. She says, but it's my mother and I can't say this. And say, find the strength in him to say, mom, that's it. You raised me. Mm -hmm. I am a grown man. And, um, and, and you have to express. What are you so afraid? Mm -hmm. Susie, what are you so afraid? Uh, he has anger issues, and he he she plays a victim. So you know, he, I mean, um, he, he, he's really he abusive. Her, you yeah. give her too much power, Susie. Yeah, no, she's he's just um, you know he's quick to get angry, and um, they had a this long story with the family. Susie, but, yeah. I want Thank you, you so to much. get this book because yeah, you're coming I, I at the yeah. end of the show. Buy Agapi's yeah. book. Thank you, guys. And I know, I copy an email so she can send you the free meditation. Okay. Yeah. Agapi, do you have man. any any events, anything significant uh, to let us know from from your your uh, I will. future events? I will. I let events? you know. Right now, um, I, all I do, everything is on Zoom and online. But we we'll, right. we'll stay in touch with everybody. Okay. Agapi, I'm grateful for your amazing uh, uh, presence. I am eternally thankful to you for being my